being a personal shopper it depends which place or which country or which city you're in for example when i was doing uh, personal shopping for, in hong kong uh, in bangkok that is very different and i was a high-end uh, personal shopper so my clientele will ask me uh, basically to go and shop for them the pieces which they've already purchased limited and it's not going to be out in the stores or something so I'll go and purchase that and sometimes I'll mix say I'm also as, as a stylist too I'll mix with other ideas so personal shopping is very different and the most the, the vital part about personal shopping is that you you have to gauge and know which stores are there what's happening and what else uh, yes are there also personal shop uh, uh, shoppers in stores who are basically hired there so it depends i was a high-end personal shopper for my clientele that will ask me to go and shop for them in one city to another or even one country to another and uh, what i did like the most is like i learned a lot culturally also with class and you know i also had a bit of history of, of learning small small details the devil is always the details but to say that i think for me as i always say business is spiritual everything you're doing is spiritual uh as a personal shopper i think this guy put it better uh chooses with mori is mori if you have ever read it if you're trying to show off for people at the top you, you just have to forget it because they will look down on you uh anyhow and if you're trying to show off for people at the bottom forget it they will only envy you so being a personal shopper those are the things that i learned spiritually for myself and that it's it's very competitive especially when you're working for the extreme rich people so the 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 value that you are adding to them is being yourself and being real and enjoying the time so that's what i'll say as a personal shopper So yes, I'm going to be answering the other question, which is of course in business, as I'm somebody who's learning in this business field. It's very interesting what you get to know and understand and you also face challenges. So my answer is, I feel personally, business is spiritual. So that's a talk for another day. It's spiritual in the sense, it also goes to your values, your principles, and what you believe and how you want to run your business. So also, when you look at it, in the world of CEOs where the whole world is telling you to run things from quarter to quarter, um, I think you end up forgetting the long sustainability, what is um, important as a business person or a leader, the responsibilities to it. Um, then yeah, I will say every day is, um, is a new beginning, every day has a set of different challenges and you have to reinvent yourself. So you've got to reinvent yourself and also not lose yourself while you're running your business. So as I said, it will still be in a spiritual aspect. Your values, your principles, yeah, and what you believe in. So that's what I will say. And don't forget to divide. Um, what you I mean what you're not good at so that's what I do I give responsibility or I give my weakness to somebody who has more strength yeah that's about business so style is more about attitude and behavior you know it's it's about your attitude and your behavior towards life so when I talk about you know when when you listen to somebody saying that I love their style. Not particularly talking about clothes. Clothes does not make the person who has style in it. It's a way they approach life. So for example, I find, you know, sometimes when I wear something which is very over the top, it's how I want to feel. It's how I want to approach the, to approach life. You know, I just feel over the top and as if the world is ready. And the other thing is also like when you're looking at style in dressing. So it I always say to myself, dress for the job you want, not the job you have so i always get ready especially i'm also getting ready for my next job that i want in the future in my dreams so style is always in choices in how you approach life you know um we all go down up but you know when you just take that effort to have a good attitude i mean even taking care of yourself is just you know it's a, it's a style in it it's an, there's an act in it so i will say style is an approach of life 
not just for getting clothes because there are people who do not have clothes but they look fabulous they will talk eloquently or very elegant and you know you look at them and you're just like i love that style so i believe it's an improvement and we have to improve every day so that is for me what style is one become a stylist you just be you know I mean as with everything in life it takes passion so styling is all about passion in it you have to learn you have to endure you have to go through these challenges and as I said um, it's, it's all about passion so the only difference is like you have to know which kind of styling you want to do that is major because there are different kind of stylings which I'll talk about it next time but you have to know which kind of styling you want to get into and yeah sometimes the journey seems very glamorous or it looks very glamorous as I'm putting myself all together but it, it has its own uh, you know challenges so uh, what else will I add yeah so with that, I'm just gonna say it's, it's good to know your materials, good to know your fabrics. I mean, even if you can't afford the high uh, fabrics, the high materials, I mean, you know, you also have thrift where you can go and buy, then you learn through it, you learn with it. So sometimes I, what I used to do before is like, I will go to a thrift uh, place and then you will buy certain materials, like when you're reading, if it's silk or something, and then kind of by night, you know, you're burning so that you know, you study materials on fabric. So you'll burn synthetic and know the difference. You'll burn natural fibers and know the difference. I still like good material. So that is what it takes to be a stylist. <laughs>